Correct technique for the half crunch. Now you may feel that this is a very, very basic exercise, but I use this a lot with almost all of my clients because it centers the force around the lower abdominals. There's a lot of complicated uh, abdominal exercises out there that incorporate a tremendous amount of hip flexion, which really ends up giving you a two pack instead of a six pack. So a lot of back problems also exist because of too much hip, hip flexion uh, in your lower abdominal or in your abdominal exercises and not enough force incorporated in the lower abdominal area. So we're utilizing our rectus abdominis in this exercise. In this particular half crunch, the main focus that I'm going to be doing is pushing my lower back hard down to the ground. Okay? This helps put my hips up okay, and lower back is hard down on the ground. As soon as I start pushing my lower abdominals or my lower back down to the ground, I feel tension and force in my lower uh, rectus abdominis. Next I want to put for proper abdominal flexion or spinal flexion, I want to put my chin tight to my chest, hands on the ground, I'm curling up. My lower back never leaves the ground. I tell my clients to think about taking their rib cage and touching their hip bone with it. That doesn't actually happen, but that's what they want. That's what mental imagery I'd like my clients to think of. You can also put your hands by your shoulders, chin tight to the chest, lower back hard down to the ground. You want those lower abdominal, those lower abs to burn constantly through the entire phase of the half crunch. All right, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do an isoprone ab, also known as a plank. Uh, there's several modifications for it and regressions for it, uh, progression, excuse me. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, we wanna have our clients engage our ab abdominals. So if you guys think about, we're always engaging them when we're walking in and out of places, okay, out, out the doors. When we push, when we pull, we're, we're bracing them. So we wanna make sure that we get the, the glutes tight, that spine tight, and everything's holding in tight. So our um, first exercise is gonna be the modification part of it, we're going to be on our on our knees. We're going to be on our forearms. We want to make sure that we keep our arms shoulder width apart. We have our toes on the ground with our knees, and we're just drawing in that belly button up and in. We're squeezing those glutes. We're holding that tight. So our progression will be now to go up onto our hands and get off our knees. So we're in almost in a starting push-up position. We're still squeezing those glutes. We're pushing down through our hands, through that floor, keeping everything tight. We're, we're flexing those quads, those glutes, those abdominals. Now, our other progression will be on our forearms. We can keep our hands flat or into a fist position. We want to make sure they never come together. We're squeezing, we're holding, we're bracing those, those abs, we're holding that. And that's your isoprone apps.